welcome to the video. I mean, welcome to the workout. This is an amazing place. It's like a little heaven for adults. It's an adult playground for me. It's my, I can just have fun here. So we're getting a calisthenics workout in, working out with some guys from Serbia as well. Shout out to them. But yeah, gonna hit this workout. And uh, I'm already one set in, but we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put this as the intro. But yeah, let's go. Welcome to the video. So, a full week of training. I'll start by saying I'm doing full body three times a week, having a rest in between each day because rest is so important for making gains. In this video, you'll see three different areas of where I train and how the exercises differentiate between each location. But of course, no gym, no problem. Let's go. Let's start with this workout. We have Vlad here showing me this knee raise, this dynamic knee raise, half pull up knee raise, if you will. And wow, this is without doubt my new favorite core exercise. I do it as much as I can. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So shout out to Vlad on this one. And as you can see with me doing it, I'm in the flow, I know what I'm doing, but he says, keep your legs straight. And oh my God, that made a massive difference keeping my legs straight. So whether you're doing regular knee raises or these knee raises, which I highly recommend, try and point your legs, keep your legs straight and your core will be working much more. Obviously we're doing a circuit, a super set of calisthenics. So we're going into the Tyson push-ups. This is almost a full body exercise. You're working the push-up, you're working the quads, you're working the shoulders, the back, when you're going back and forth. Love this push-up. So it was a good dynamic movement again. And if you haven't tried Tyson push-ups, it's a great workout in itself. So yeah, hit the Tyson push-ups there. We then went on to squats, 40 of them, just because we've got to work those legs somehow. If you can't add massive weights on your legs, just do body weight and they have so many benefits. So that's why I do them and that's why you should do them as well. Before we move on to muscle ups, I just want to show you this Russian burpee that Vlad showed me and oh my God, I did one and I was absolutely exhausted. So try to do 10 of these and let me know how you feel. After the squats, we hit the muscle ups. Now, lots more to come on muscle ups because your boy has unlocked them, finally. And I'll tell you how I did that. I'll teach you the secrets of, to how I've unlocked the muscle up. But this is just a practice. So we're doing banded muscle ups. After the muscle ups, we did pull ups. Really fatigued at this point. So the pull ups were feeling hard, but still getting the reps in. It was a freestyle workout. So I did three sets of that and then finished on a few sets of dips and pull-ups just on this other piece of equipment because there was so much equipment around here and I was absolutely loving it. So keeping it a freestyle workout, just doing calisthenics, having fun with it. And this was as many reps as possible. That's what AMRAP means. So thanks to Vlad, thanks for this workout, full body workout, day one. And yeah, little flex at the end. Let's go. So workout two, in this location, we just have our cells and the equipment that I carry with me in the van and we're using just things around me. So starting off with weighted push-ups. Now, Rory, how are you doing weighted push-ups? Well, I'm finding rocks that are around the area and putting them in the bag. How much does it weigh? I'm not sure, but you've just got to go for it. Get stronger, push as much as you can. And then as you can see, I'm dropping it with just regular push-ups. So getting lots of push-ups in there with some added weight. As you can see, I started off light and then went for heavier. So the reps went down, but that means I'm just increasing those strength gains. I'm doing some hypertrophy work and I'm also getting the drop sets in with the regular push-ups. Now I can talk about push-ups all day long. So having a bag and being able to put whatever you have around you in it to just increase the weight is a great way of building muscle, getting stronger and getting better at push-ups building those chest, triceps and shoulders. Absolutely key for me training without a gym is adding weight for my push-ups. We're then using the bands. So everyone should have bands. I mean, when I warm up, I warm up with the light bands. So you may as well get all of them and then it unlocks these deadlifts. Sometimes I like to do deadlifts with rocks and logs as you'll see in the next workout. But for this one, we're using bands and a stick. I'm really focusing on that mind muscle connection with the hamstrings and the lower back and keeping my form good. And these were great. For me, it doesn't quite beat the deadlift, but it's a really good addition if you need to do these. So don't neglect them just because you don't have a barbell and weights. 
Just get them in, focus on my muscle connection and go for high reps. I then moved on to pike press. Now I'm using a stick for my platform because like I said in previous videos, I'm really enjoying using a platform to do push-ups on just because it helps with the mind muscle connection and it just feels nicer. But yeah, pike push-ups are getting better, working on those shoulders. I've got long arms and long legs and long levers, so I find these tough, but we've got to get them in. Of course, we're doing this circuit style, so one after the other, and then we're going on to banded bicep curls. Mosquitoes are trying to bite me, but that's no problem. You just got to keep going. I love this exercise. You can see the biceps working. For those who can't feel tension on the biceps when doing curls, add these in. The tension is great and I absolutely love it. High reps. So I would add this into my calisthenics routine, absolutely. We're then using the weights that are in the back and we're doing some squats, nice and deep. It's good to change from body weight to weighted because your body will adapt to different things. So we did a superset here, well, a tricep of legs. We did a weighted squat for 10. We then back lunge for 10. And as you can see, it took me a while to balance, but we're increasing those balance gains. <laughs> so this is why I love calisthenics and body weight training because it, it unlocks your balance, it unlocks your coordination, everything. So it's not just about building muscle and getting stronger. It's, it's the whole aspect of fitness, which I absolutely love. But that's right, we got used to it. It made sense in my head and then we understood the balance of the whole exercises so this was great and then we finished on quad pumps for 30 keeping the tension on the quads doing little half reps and as you can see the quads are really working i like to add a little toe raising as well just to get the tibs working so yeah this tricep of legs was a real burner at the end so overall really happy with this workout this is the equipment i used and yeah if you're looking for a budget way to work out and work out wherever you want this is it bands get your rucksack, put some random stuff in the rucksack, rocks for more weight. This is it, take your fitness anywhere, no excuses, let's go. Good morning, welcome to the workout, welcome to the vlog. We're in this amazing place. Unfortunately, we're like at over a thousand meters above sea level, so you can't see the mountains, but there's some fantastic mountains around. But yeah, we're in our natural environment. We're using wood, we're using the trees to work out and we're going to get it in. I've got up early to do this, so good morning if you're watching this in the morning. Good afternoon, good evening. But for me, it's the morning. Rarely do workouts in the morning at the moment because sleep is so good. Um, so yeah, we're going to get the workout in. River's giving me energy. So yeah, let's do this without further ado. Come on, let's go. Okay, so the final workout of the week. Now we're back on these knee raises. We absolutely love these, trying to keep my legs as straight as possible, do some dynamic movement to really work all of that core. Now, this was my favorite workout of the week, and this week's been really good. Working the full body every time, getting it in, eating well, and just having fun. That's what it's all about. So of course, knee raises. We're then getting into these push-ups with a little knee tuck, almost burpee style. This is because full range of motion has to be activated when you're using the knees like this. It's working the core, it's getting a more dynamic movement in and I'm getting the press ups in. So we went for 15 of these. And what have you got there Rory as equipment? Well, we have the log. We're just going with the flow and we're getting the shoulder press in with the log, which feels really nice. It's not too heavy, so you've got to get high reps in. For me, I'm really loving high reps, so that's why these felt really nice, getting the pump on, working the shoulders, keeping the tension on the muscles. And then as soon as you finish that, supersetting onto heel raised squats with a weighted log. So these were great. Really working on knee health, building the quads, working the cardiovascular system because we're just circuiting again. That's the way I love to train. Full video on that soon. Once we finished that, we moved on to deadlifts or RDLs with the log. So twice this week, we've managed to work deadlifts with some resistance, which is so important if you're training calisthenics a lot, because you have to either do Nordic curls or add some type of deadlifting to work those hamstrings and lower back. So I went with the flow of the workout. I went for as many reps as I could, tried to keep it at the top range of 20, 30 reps, but sometimes it went a bit lower, like the knee raises, I was really focusing on form, so they went down a bit, but that's fine. The last set of this was the best after each exercise. So I'll show you what I did, but this was just for functionality, extra burn, extra gains. And yeah, this was really cool. This is why we train. We train for functionality. We train for the health of the body and aesthetics comes with all of that. 
So aesthetics isn't at the top of my priorities, but if you train like this, if you train full stop, you will be seeing aesthetics. So I know a lot of people, that's what they train for and it's great for the body and mind. But for me, functionality and health is so important. And yeah, like I said, aesthetics comes with that. But yeah, really enjoyed this workout. And that was the full week of training. Full body three times a week, focused on calisthenics with a bit of creativity. No gym needed. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching. Look after your body, stay healthy. Cheers. Ooh. I was hoping I was going to be able to show you the mountains, they're absolutely fantastic. But I'll show you a picture if I've got one. But yeah, there you go. A workout. Didn't use any gym, nothing. Just the things that are around me, using nature, trees, logs. And it does the same thing. I think this type of training does it more in a functional way. I love to build muscle, I love to get a pump. I love working out. It gives you that good feel, good feeling. It's that drug, isn't it? And you don't need to go to the gym for that. I never, ever slate on the gym and say, you should never go, should not go to the gym because if you are going to the gym, that's amazing. Like you're working on yourself. You're getting better. You're getting stronger. A stronger body. Strength is never a weakness. Remember that. And yeah, this is why I love doing it outside because it feels more functional to me. And well, if you're doing calisthenics gym, if you're doing that, you're right, you're leveling up. But yeah, that's the workout for today. Very functional, very muscle building approach, high reps. And yeah, working on the core, full body. What else is there to say? No excuses. Thank you to that log, great log. Especially the last set when I um, started being a bit creative with it, you know, doing some moves that I didn't really see that often. So yeah. Really happy with that. And uh, yeah, river energy now, time for a coffee. Look after your body, keep training hard, keep staying healthy. And yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already because we're building, the journey's getting better. Oosh, come on, let's go.